All right. Welcome, everyone, to day 20 of the Advent of Code in Haskell. We blazed through uh, 18 and 19 yesterday after explaining our solution for day 18, no, day 17, <coughs> which took us a while. Now, we're streaming early today, but we're going to do day 20. See if we can blaze through it, but this is going to be my last stream. Uh, for this season, I think, because I actually had to start packing, preparing Christmas. That's what we're here for. Uh, so what's the problem today? It's about flip-flop modules. Okay. Conjunction. Okay, so we are set connecting cables and they have modules. And they communicate using pulses. So they have high or low pulses. And destination modules. Okay, so flip-flop modules are either on or off, and they're initially off. And then it flips. If it receives a high pulse, it fl it is ignored. If it receives a low pulse, it flips. Conjunction modules, they remember the type of the most recent pulse received from each of their connected input modules. They initially default to remembering a low pulse for each input. <clears throat> when a pulse is received, the conjunction module first updates in memory for that input. Then, if it remembers high pulses for all inputs, it sends a low pulse. Otherwise, it sends a high pulse. Okay. There's one broadcast module, and, and it, receives, it sends the same pulse. And you have the button module that you press and sends a low pulse. Okay, so they're always processing the order they ascend. Okay. We're sending a bunch of signals and then... Okay, uh, we can look at this later. But the <coughs> end goal here is... We press a button. So, so <coughs> basically what's going to happen is that we have this state. We're going to say, ah! Oh, Merry Christmas, Gretlin. Thank you for tuning in. And so what's going to happen is we're going to... Uh, right, so... Let's see. So, you know, we send signals again and again and again and again. And then in the end... And then we complete a cycle, right? <coughs> and then... All the modules are in the original state. So we push the button a thousand times, okay? And then we calculate how many low pulses and how many high pulses are sent. So we are going to just remember the state and then find the length of the cycle and then figure out how many pulses. Uh, how many button presses it takes for one cycle. Let's get to it. Do, 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 do. So here is our first input. Do, 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 do. Let me rewrite this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> CD day 20. Make their day 20. See, ah, oh, I consecrated. Day 20. Uh, GC, oh, day 20. Did you just. GC, day 20. Did you just. Oh, day 20. Oh, three. And day 20. And we're gonna time it up to okay let's start language gc 2021 module main where <coughs> main io 
main equals return. Okay, so now we are gonna say uh, do read file example uh, print dot args. So what is the state? <clears throat> So a uh, so a module data module equals so we have a so flip flop module flip flop and this is going to be uh, on off is bool so whether it's is on so this is going to be <clears throat> a bool so is on they're initially off and uh, ignore it nothing happens or if a flip-flop is resolved off, it flips between on and off. If it was off, it turns on and sends a high pulse. Okay. So I think, and now we're going to say, uh, so this is a, mm, there are cables between the, um, between the modules. So let's see here. Connections. It's going to be a list of ints. I'm going to use an int map here. <clears throat> okay, so that's this is one kind of uh, module. Now we're using some types and um, row types. I think they're called. Anyway, a conjunction module. Conjunction is. So they don't have this is on thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Conjunction, remember that my most recent impulse received from each of their connected input modules. They initially default to remembering low impulses. When a pulse is received, so it's going to be a memory, a conjunction memory is going to be um, int map pool. Uh, let me import data.int map int map qualified dot int map and I am <coughs> so they have a memory and they also have um, connections <laughs> okay um, Then if it receives blah blah blah, okay. There's a single broadcast module. Um, when it receives a pulse, it sends the same pulse to all of its destination modules. Mm -hmm. Broad <coughs> broadcast connections. Hint. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, let me get the. So I think the <coughs> broadcaster is always going to be first. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Broadcaster is not always first, but I can actually, I can just move it around. 
So we have connections so there are ints. Mm. Let me actually do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, anyway, let's say say here um Broadcaster. Okay, so instance. Show module where. Uh, show. Flip flop. I see is equal to. Um, <coughs> Let's have it remember the Okay, I'm just I'm just not gonna show them. I'm just gonna do deriving show, okay? Deriving show EQ. And we're gonna say uh <coughs> parse module taking one line and we are gonna say a uh, module. So parse module uh, string. Let's look at the first character. Mm. So if the first character is B, then we are defining a broadcaster. What does a broadcaster look like? We um, we say a we say a, a mods. Okay, we're gonna need split on also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna say a drop length str uh, drop length broadcaster uh, string and then we are going to say a uh, mod list is equal to um Split on um, comma of mods. Okay, now these are going to be. Mm. Let me see. <coughs> I'll just throw out the spaces. Filter not equal to space. And then we are going to say um, <laughs> Is there like a hash function for int? String to int. Let me just uh, write the hash function here. Um, we can use the or function. <coughs> Did I do or? String to int. 
cash equals a cash prime and let's start at zero <coughs> um, where and then the multiplier so this is the power of okay so hash uh, so this is cur and this is a power empty is c hash prime a c p uh let's say cur cur c r is equal to a hash prime um cur plus or c times 10 because I think they're all to the power <coughs> of 2p times p I think we can do it like this hmm Let's just do it like this. Increase P by 2 and then R. Let me see. Did a char or. <coughs> Let's see. Um map hash a to z <laughs> let's see uh, let's create all the combinations a b a b Mm -hmm. Mm And then I think we have to do round. <coughs> uh, okay. So it seems like it does go longer let's make this three okay <clears throat> we made a hash so 
the set is 122. Okay, and now there's no collisions in the hash of the names. I don't know why we necessarily went this way, but we did. Let me see, and they are all two letter names. It would also work actually for inv. Okay, um, okay, so parse module, this is gonna be broadcaster. Um, map hash a mod list. We just uh, oh, and I'll do something. Okay, so this is for the broadcaster. <clears throat> if it starts with string it starts with a percentage sign. Then we are defining a flip flop. Then we're gonna say um, we're gonna say here uh, nm is rest is span. Um, not equal to space of string. Okay, and then we drop uh, this mod list split on filter not equal to space of uh, drop length space narrow base of string no this is rest okay and and this is equal to flip flop mm -hmm. uh, false, so it's off map hash model list. And exactly the same for the conjunction, except here we have the and sign. And then we're going to have a conjunction. <coughs> it's going to have an am dot empty as the initial memory. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> read file example print parse a let's see print and also in the input like yeah nothing is connected to the broadcaster it's just it's just on the left hand side print dot map parse module dot lines Mm -hmm. I forgot to save it. Okay, let me see. And let's say map and print. Mm. So we got the broadcaster connects to A, B, and C. And then B, A connects to B. And B connects to 9. 
and then C connects to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's actually have the let's have the ID here also just so we have it uh, MID is an int Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. MIT int <coughs> okay and then we're gonna say here this is gonna be module ID zero it's gonna be hash of enum and this is gonna be hash and then as well mm -hmm. okay um i want to make it look a bit different ding 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 buddy Okay, now let me not derive show. Let me say here, okay. Um, instance show module where show broadcaster. I don't care about the ID here. Cons is equal to. Mm -hmm. And that's just then print broadcaster um, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna show the connections. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut recover the name. I'm just going to use the digit. Okay. This is a uh, and show my D. And the same here with flip flop, but we are going to have the percentage sign here. nice okay we've done the parsing now <coughs> ding ding now let's create the state. Uh, which is just gonna be um so let's see part one takes in a this is strings and okay, we're not gonna say that yet. Part one is there is equal to <coughs> modules is equal to map parse module dot lines stars part one and now let's just print it and Let's do I am not from list um, map. We have here a module. We just want to go M I D M comma M. 
<coughs> okay, <coughs> and now we have all the modules in the list. <laughs> Okay, now I would like to initialize the conjunctive memory so that we don't have like a map dot empty. Mm -hmm. See, for do we even need? Remember the type of the most recent pulse received from each of the connected. So they remember low pulse. When a pulse is received, the conjunctive memory first updates its memory for that input. Then if it remembers a high pulse for four, if it remembers high pulses for all inputs. Okay, so we need to know all the inputs to that um, <coughs> a, to that module. Okay, so let me see. Mm -mm -mm. So we have the. We just we have the modules here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I want to say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So first I want to know the IDs of all the conjunctive modules. So then I'm going to say is Conjunct, conj, um, is conj, conjunction, true, uh, is con is equal to false. Then let's see, then con IDs is equal to, um, A map mid dot uh, mid on filter is con modules. <coughs> okay. Now, for each of these con IDs, I want to say um, connected con input takes in a con ID and we get all the input. So you say um, Let me see. So it also it also sends to all of them in order. So it always finishes sending all of them, right? So I think these connections should actually be a set. So we do here is dot from list is dot from list is dot from list import qualified data dot inset it's set as is import data dot int set int set oh. what happened there line sixty four <coughs> 
So con input con ID is equal to uh, filter, and then we have a we have for each module M. We we have uh, we're gonna say connections. Um, And we have is.member key inset uh, con id dot connections and then we just want the map the nid of those <laughs> okay, so now uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say map con input so then I can tell which ones <clears throat> so now I'm gonna say um, add inputs um, and so for any module that's not a conjunction, we just return the thing. Add inputs a conjunction. You see, I always forget how things are defined. <coughs> so add inputs conjunction um, MID. And we don't care about the current memory, and uh, we want. And we don't care about the con, we know we have to keep the cons around. Is equal to a uh, conjunction um, MID. And then I want to initialize um, I'm just going to say I guess dot from I am dot from list. Sip uh, con input MID uh, with repeat false. Mm -hmm. Cons. Okay, now modules. Let me see here. When I show conjunctions, I want to show just in between this arrow here, show um, or not between the arrow. Let me show you. Show me MID, and I want to do this. And I want to uh, show um, let's also show the state here. Okay, now let's see uh, modules. Add inputs map <coughs> Okay, and now this is initialize the false, initialize the false, 
and and now we have the memory here that 99 well, the last signal was low okay conjunction models they initially reach input when a pulse is received the conjunction module first updates its memory for that input then if it remembers high pulses for all inputs it sends a low pulse otherwise it sends a high pulse <coughs> Okay, so this is the current state, except we are also gonna have the I am dot from list. Um, we're gonna map. We just want all the. Okay. So this is the state. Init state is equal to. Now I want to say go. Um, so I'm going to have the current state. Current state. <clears throat> and I am going to say uh, we're gonna have the counts of high high pulses high low pulses low pulses um <clears throat> is equal to and then we have the q and so i i got i have to memorize memorize this also at some point, uh, let me see. So then I can basically have like a scene of the current state. Scene ST. So if I don't have any pulses, I just return high pulses, low pulses. Mm-hmm. Go a uh, seen as the uh I it, it needs to be seen as the cur as the CHP CLP I don't care. Um Um, no, so here I should actually loop. This is where I should loop. Should loop. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, so I'm gonna say so. Case a uh, curse date. Uh, let me see. Scene st uh, cur state of nothing. Then I hit go. I am no uh, map dot insert 
a curve state high pulses low pulses um curve state high pulses low pulses and the initial one is a pulse to zero mm, and i need map here also import data dot map import qualified data dot map as map mm -mm. So go is a takes a map uh, of int map module to int comma int. This is the memory, the memorization to an int map of module. Oh my god, this is really bad. Module uh, to and int comma int and a list of int comma int. No, it's a list of pulses, uh, and I need they need to be. I think yeah. So they need to be high or low. And they return return uh, return a string. Seen as the map dot insert curse state. Uh, seen as the let me import qualified data dot map dot strict actually mm, and I think it's actually mm. okay um I also want to Okay, now if I've seen it before, just PHP PLP. I want to uh, R. I want to say uh, let's do here just CP. Just R, I just want to show R comma CP. Okay, and now this is the loop with the scene, and then we just figure out whether we. I mean, we're gonna look at the numbers after we see the example to see and the figure the. So it could so it will take a while to so it might not get into the initial state, but it might get into a repeating state, right? So let's see, uh, go. Mm. HPLP. Okay, and then um, here we have a last uh, PID and uh, P level if it's high or low is equal to mm -mm -mm. and then we have the rest of the pulses uh, 
This should actually be a sequence because we're going to be adding to the end of it. Okay, um, <clears throat> so now we're going to say, uh, we're going to look up the, what it is, let me see, uh, where, mm -mm -mm. so CP prime is equal to, Um, if P level is high, then HP plus one LP, else HP LP plus one, um, equal. So we're going to say case, uh, case, and then we're going to say, um, a cur ST. I am dot bang PID of and let me see who go uh, data dot sequence Let me see. Um, so for now we're not. Uh, let me see. Empty. And then we say here. Um, Okay, now it's a sequence. Case curse state of IMP appeared of. <coughs> so if we if we hit the broadcaster, mm, okay, when it receives a pulse, it sends the same pulse to all of its destination modules. PID of um, broadcaster. I don't care about the connections. Cons. So the logic from here is a is dot from to list cons. Um, What can I, how can I? Let's see. Oh, and I can just append. Okay, I asked to list and then seek. I'm gonna map a comma p level to this. Okay, and seek dot from list. Hey, so I'm so then I'm gonna just let n six equal this in a go scene st 
RST, CP prime, um, pulses appended with N6. <coughs> that was quite nice. Okay, now let's see what we do for flip flop. Flips are either on or off, they are naturally off. If a flip flop module receives a high pulse, it is ignored and nothing happens. It flips between on and off. If it was off, it turns on. So let's see a flip flop mid. So if it's uh, ST, S, cons. So um, if S, if not S, then it is simply a go scene ST, cur ST, CP prime pulses. So then we just ignore the pulse. Okay, we just ignore the pulse, it is ignored and nothing happens. If a FIPA module receives a low pulse, uh, let's see, so P level and not that, so let me see. Okay, so so flip flop modules are either on or off. They are initially off. Okay, if it receives a high pulse, it gives an R and nothing happens. Okay. So, however, if a so if if not P level, then. Uh, if S, so if it's on, then they are, are either on or off. They are initially off. If a flip flop module receives a high pulse, if a flip flop module receives a low pulse, it flips between if it was off, um, then. Let n flip uh, NFL is equal to uh, flip flop mid not as cons. Uh, I'm realizing now that this is gonna be uh, per, this is gonna be like expensive. It would just be nicer if we could just track the flip flop in a boolean array or like boolean thing directly and not have to look it up every time. But anyway, cur st is equal to im dot insert mid nfl and sig is equal to If it was off, so this is going to be map not below, not s. So if it was off, it should send a high pulse. It was on, it, sends, it turns off and sends a low pulse. Okay. Um, Let me write this uh, and sig in go scene state uh, car SD prime CP prime pulses uh, 
I am NFL. Okay. This is for the flip flop, not for the conjunction. <clears throat> so, first of all, let and see. You can flip flop. No, we're not going to change the flip flop. We're going to say con conjunction. MID mem prime cons now mem prime ah and i need to remember who sent the pulse pid sender id uh, let's just say that the button sends from itself that's okay uh, c c comma mid c comma mid comma p level so here it does just does this here again c to um c comma sid comma not I need to have the center ID as well. Okay, so mem prime. Remember, they have the most recent pulse received from each of their connected modules. So it first updates its memory. Mem is I am dot insert sender ID p level. Mm. Um, in undefined, I just want to get the NSIG. Oh, I forgot to update the type here. Mm -hmm. Mem Prime is a new. Okay, we update the mummy. We update the module. <clears throat> when a pulse is received, you can update the memory. And then, if it remembers a high pulse for all inputs, mm, and then let's update the current state and see. And um, so pulse is equal to um, and I am dot LMs uh, mem prime. So the new pulse, so if If it remembers high pulses for all inputs, it sends a low pulse. Otherwise, so let's see, not and, and then NSIG. This should be NSIG. NSIG always. should be mm. 
<coughs> I could probably do this in a nicer way, but... <laughs> Let me see. Um... Let n sig, comma six comma cur st prime equal, and then I don't have to do as much repetition. Uh, then n six in. So here I don't do anything. Uh, here I also don't do anything. And here we are going to say also a n6 car st prime and then in go scene st a car st prime a cp prime pulses n6 Mm -hmm. LSE, they're always sending the same signal to all of them. should be mid actually mid so what I want to say here is I want to say um, let m equal um, Per st uh, I am dot prime PID. Okay, and then I want to say I want to say here that cons is equal to a cons is equal to connections a m. And sender ID is equal to MIDM. And then uh, N6 is equal to seek dot from list of a uh, map C uh, C SID. P, uh, P, uh, is that two list cons? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I just want to send the updated state and the level and the signal that it sends <sighs> see this is your be just P level because sometimes they don't send a signal okay a n6 Nothing is equal to seek dot empty GSP mm 
Okay, um... Nothing. Um, and the signal here is not S. It's just not as. Mm. The signal here is just pulse. Okay, in. Um, P. <laughs> we can actually put these all in the where clause as well. I'm just gonna make this code nice and simple. Okay, so we update the state. Um, let me see here, we can say... We can just make this a card also. Flip-flop A is on equals S. Conjunction memory equals mem m Okay, so now we've updated. Let's see. In its state, now let's, let's see what it goes. Go. And map.empty. In it state and a 0, 0.0 and seek.singleton. Uh, zero, comma, zero, comma. <clears throat> we send a low when we click the button. Flip 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So pressing the button once uh, sends four and eight. Let's see, let's make this return uh, int. We're going to say RHP, so PHP, P. Uh, LP mm. CHP CLP and we are just going to say uh, CHP minus PHP comma CLP minus PLP and we have to multiply these together Let scene st prime equals in and button press equals. this in button press mm -hmm. uh, and I need to save also here CP Current hypothesis. Oh right. Previous hypothesis. I think I need to do like this probably. So thirty-two times button press. Um, <clears throat> so after pushing the button 1,000 times Ooh. Okay, so it's not a thousand here I have to multiply by two, a thousand times twice times two do, 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 Which is a million actually Let's create a new file, example two. Okay, this module, the multi connection con, if they're both on sends a low pulse to the output module. 
both of them sent to Aqua. However, now that both of them are on and gone. An untyped module output. Okay, so. Okay, so I guess if um is the scene is taking. Also, the pulse, uh, pulse level, pulses, case, uh, not CSD, I am dot I am dot member PIT go SD CST. ST cur ST prime cur ST CP prime losses bit and cur ST In the second example, I'm pushing the button 1,000 times, four 250 low pulses and two 750 high pulses are sent. Okay, so this one is not working. <clears throat> Let's see, for the second example... Ding, 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 ding. Doesn't work. Uh, so let's see. Show CPPP. -P -P. Mm Okay, um, so this is a bit more difficult, right? So the thing here is that PP so per cycle I just want to see also what it does for the input, if it's slow or not. Okay. Certainly taking a lot of time.
We get the cables warmed up, the elves have pushed the button 1,000 times. Including the pulses sent by the button itself. Yes, we, uh, we also count that actually. <laughs> Let's see, um... But for the second one, so it took it took four pushes. Uh, I think I need to remember how many times I've gone through the loop. Let me add that here. I'll be and uh, num num presses um, num. Let's have it there. <laughs> We're going to start this off with uh, zero. And then here we're going to say... Um, MPS plus one um, PS um, num PS plus one mm -hmm. Okay, it's not doing the thing. Let me see. Num PS uh, Let's actually just add it Here This is what we are tracking anyway. Pressing too often. Um, so this should be Oh, 
Okay, so after one press, <coughs> so uh huh. So after one press, it returns to the initial state. And maybe what happens for the input is that it's it's always growing. The, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, figure out the difference here. Um, so, PHP minus CHP and CLP minus um, PLP and um, NPP minus No, numps minus npp. This should be plp and clp. Now, um, so pp was the previous one, yes. Yeah, so clp, c, p, p. So for every one press, um, we get, okay, so then we have to take, um, <laughs> the length of the cycle is CLA is equal to numps. The low per cycle is equal to this number. High per cycle is equal to this number. In, and then we're going to say um, in, <clears throat> P per C is equal to um, 1000 mod CL. So we're going to say here a uh, LPC, LPC times perk times a HPC times perk. <laughs> oh, so this was numps minus npp, right? Oops. Ah, I need to divide. I think. One one six eight seven five zero zero. Okay, so it's HPT plus um of so, and these are the ones. So, so, and then we do one zero zero mod CL 
uh, plus half times um okay no, let's let me wait with this off thing and just see okay at least it works for the examples um but it is too slow for the uh, input. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> and that's probably because we are mm, it's probably because we are Constantly updating this map. So, cur st. Let's make that. Uh, Let's make that just into the function that modifies the current one. Okay. Um, F. So here we just have id. Id. We don't want to make any modification. Here we define it as F. A flip-flop M S C is equal to flip-flop M M not as C so then we don't do this uh, cur ST prime Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> we just define the function that modifies the uh, modifies the current um, the current state okay uh, so here we update the current one let okay and then her st prime is equal to um i am dot modify alter let me see modify uh int map We should have a uh, adjust. Adjust F M M I D more uh, change adjust modify M I D change mid cur st okay <clears throat> so here the modification is actually going to be um, f conjunction mid mem uh, M C is equal to um, conjunction M M mem prime C, where mem prime is equal to uh, 
I am dot insert seat P level mem Oh, and I need the mem prime here also. Okay, it's definitely not working for the input. So now we just do the adjustment. So we've kind of um, We freed ourselves from like so now this function does not need to know about um, they don't need to know about the way you store it. Okay, now <coughs> I want to change how the current state is so it's now an int map of modules. Customize the hash function here. Hash broad caster zero. Hash output. I think I should let the common things be first. Oh, I need to take a quick, quick break now. Actually, um, oh, sorry. And of course, this changes as well. Let me just finish this change here.
All right, I'm going to take a break now and help out with some stuff. I'll be back later for finishing this, but at least, you know, it works on the example. And uh, I'm going to run it on the input, see what happens, but it's not looking good for now. Anyway, see you in a bit. Bye-bye. All right, I'm back. I needed to help out a bit at the house. But uh, as we see, this is clearly not fast enough. Takes too long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me see here. Let me trace show. Oh, num ps. Import. <laughs> Let's see how it's doing all the button presses. Oh. Let's see, case num ps is larger than or equal to 1000. Then we do chp times clp. Now let's just do like this. Where let me copy paste this. So we don't do it twice. Scene mm -hmm. before. So if it hasn't been seen before. Just do it like this. 
Okay, actually, um, let's just see what happens if we just do the loop. If it actually just does it correctly for the examples. No. It doesn't get them right. <coughs> I think it's because I should start at one. So there's one button press, right? Okay, so this is part one. Let's just paste that in. Uh, this is not the best way to do it, because now they're going to push it a million times. Okay, continue to part two. The final machine responsible for moving sand down the to island island has the module attached named Rx. The machine turns on when a single low pulse is sent to Rx. Reset all modules for their to their default states. Waiting for all pulses to be fully handled after each button press. What is the fewest number of button presses required to deliver a single low pulse to the module named Rx? Okay. So it's just not at all, um, let me see, rx h is equal to hash, rx. Mm Nothing. I can still do this, but uh, just to make it faster. But if in case there's a loop, I can't do it. So what happens otherwise is that it doesn't never never resets, right? The state keeps changing, which is okay. So we had part one done. We were just trying to. We were. It was premature optimization. Let me see. Um, case PID is equal to RXH and P not P level is equal to Mm. Uh, st 
stop at thousand. Part one and two stop thousand. So we have false. To false. Ding, 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 ding. Stop a thousand. Part one and two. It's taking a long time. Okay, let's just abandon maybe the caching. Let's first get commit him. Day 20 part one. Oh, git add. Add day 20 dot hs. Sample, sample two inputs. Git commit. I should have. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Rx. So for Rx to get a signal, uh, all of the inputs to LG need to be true. See, now we're gonna abandon this scene state thing, it doesn't actually work. Now this needs some different kind of analysis. Hmm. 
Okay, now there's no init state. <coughs> Let me see how fast does it do all of them now. Quite fast. Okay. Let me see. Um <laughs> Test speed level in. So the pulse. Let me see. Let's uh, just change this. To just be part one. It would be nice if we had some um, tests for this, right? So we're gonna... Um, say part two here. Now, um... And... I'm going to remove all of these. Oh, let's see. These are in it state. Okay, so RxH is equal to hash Rx map dot bang RxH. In my module, map.bang hash rx. Part two, this is string to a module. I I am Oh key one two zero one one four is not member of the map.
Okay, no wonder the other one didn't work. A hash RX. Single sent to Rx. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> because Rx is not in the map. Um. to hash rx Let's see. Let's just copy paste this and uh, let's not stop at one thousand. Part two. Now here, I'm also not going to be counting the pulses. I'm just going to say num ps. pushing the button so it's just NP Show here, 
any more. I think I don't need to do this either. Ah, uh, except, um, FP level, then make it slightly faster, but not enough to do much, I assume. <laughs> What did I say if it was output? Hash output is one. Let me just make a hash. Rx is equal to two. <laughs> So if so we can check it for the so let me see two pid mm. let's see pid pid equals one or pid equals two. And then we can do it with the example two, right? So since the A, since the inman to con. Right, and I need to and con Let me see. We have conjunctions. So if you remember high pulses for all inputs, it sends a low pulse. NP 
Kerr Estate. Kerr SD. TS. I just want to see what we get for the current state in the queue. thing was that it never never looped in the state mm -hmm. so I said load the broadcaster button and load to A and hide to con hide to con And then it sends low to A and then it goes the side way. And then B sends um, high to con and then con sends low to output. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, now that both flip flops are on. This is output. Where skip equals go cur sd and p pulses. You can see here. Then Just looping an example too. Great. Mm, okay, so this will eventually work, but it might take a lot of button presses. Hey, hey, what is the question of today? Hey, hey Felix three. Question of the day is day twenty. We have the circuit stuff described like this so you send signals high or low to any of these and um, part one was to figure out how many high and low signals are sent in total if you press a the press a button it sends a signal to the broadcaster and the broadcaster sends you know to its destinations and then the, these are either conjunctions or flip-flops 
so you send um, you send um, um, you send uh, signals that are high and low so flip flops only activate if they're on and then they flip off and they have conjunctures which can combine signals so now I'm trying to so that was the first part let's just count the signals second part is figure out when um, when you send a signal to a specific one so okay I think what I have to do is I have to figure out a so in the input, I have to figure out when when does LG activate. So our RX will activate. RX will activate when LG sends um, <clears throat> when all of LG's inputs are high. Right, so low pulse. So then, if it remembers high pulses for all inputs, it sends a low pulse. Okay, so we're gonna do this differently, and we're gonna run it on example too as well. Okay, so this is the init state. This is not fast enough um, so the init state let me see so activation of a given gate so str so mod mod id is equal to um, so these are the con input actually let me see so so con input hash rx So for uh, Rx to activate, I need LG to activate. Uh, LG to be active. Let's see, so con input hash Rx. So these are the inputs to see con input RX. So um, Okay, so activates. <laughs> okay, so con input and map cur is so a modules map. Uh, let's see, init st. I am dropping. init state I actually need to go for a meeting soon
Okay, so for... So for RX to activate... Um, we need a high from all of these at the same time, right. I think that we need to kind of figure out the modulus, right? When will all of them be at the same time in the high state? <clears throat> Okay, and let so to act Rx is equal to to act Rx okay then to act act Rx is equal map in its state I am the bang dot a memory I am dot keys dot memory to act Rx to act Ac Rx. To Ac Rx is a list of modules. Mm, module. Right. Or this is going to be a map M. I don't see all of these. <clears throat> okay, so. We have again the case that it's a list of conjuncts. Mm. To act, act. To act, Rx. Okay. Let me see. To act, act. Uh, so we have a two ac rx. We have two ac ac two ac rx. <laughs> And then we're going to say map to ac ac to ac ac to ac rx.
Let's see. Um, L L L L L L. Um, we're gonna say a. Map M. We're gonna print L. This is just the first one. Map M print L. Then uh, put stir LN. Okay, two. Map M, map M, print LL, and then map M, hey Matt Flash, what's up? Again, they are all um, they're all conjunctivists. Okay, to activate Rx, I need to activate this one. To activate this one, I need to activate all of these. Okay, to activate all of these, I need to activate all of these at the same time. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Map See when do I get to something that's okay? These are all flip flops. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, now I need to map M. These flip flops are um, send a message at the same time, then it activates. Okay, why do you not write types? It's just like punk intent. Uh, I mean, I do it sometimes, right? But the power of Haskell is that it can actually infer a lot of it for me. Okay, uh, we're almost there. We're gonna keep looking at this in a bit. I'm gonna take a break now, I have a meeting. But so what we have to figure out is um, how many button presses will it take for all of these to be on at the same time. I think that's a trick. <laughs> Alright, thank you for today. We saw part one at least. And yeah, I'll be back later today. But I have to take a quick meeting. See you in a bit. Okay. Hey, bye bye.
All right, we're back. Um. Oh, how about that? Okay, uh, we're still working on it. Um. While I was hacking, I hacked a bit more, and we see that on the third layer, it's all flip flops. Let me see. So I just started concatenating. So let me see here. So it's two ac rx. Let's so I see a. Let's just say a. So T A A is. Two ac ac. Two ac ac. Module to module. And we're gonna do. Concat map. <clears throat> okay, um, so we are going to say here iterate to ac ac take one iterate. To ac ac to ac rx. <laughs> and then for the input, we are just going to say um, do l. So, uh, map, map M, L, uh, M's, do, map M, print M S. what's the LN, mm, dot, R2 dot lines. <clears throat> so we iterated, then we were just basically getting the same. So then we get um, So take two, take three. Take four. And all of these have to be um, Sort. So all of these have to be active at the same time. So I think we're doing the GCM again here. Let me see. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now let's copy. this one again so the go again <coughs> on this one <coughs> okay um So now let's mm. 
No matching or electric selector memory. Oh, maybe I need to do three. Right, okay. Um so now I'm just gonna say here. <coughs> okay, and now I'm gonna just map map MID on all of these. Um So we have here blob is equal to all of these. Now go is in here. We're not gonna stop here. We are just gonna loop. Right away in <laughs> you put this button press down into the where. <laughs> okay, here we are gonna. So we're not gonna say RX H. Let me see. And we, I want this skip also. So we're not gonna do anything here. But uh, let me. NP. I'm going to write this as skip and then we're just going to say here skip um, otherwise and we're not going to need these <laughs> One twenty one, something's wrong. Okay. So now I'm going to say here a uh, um flop on on and the flop goes on. Uh, the flop goes on when it receives a uh, yeah so flop okay so ph ph did pit is equal to flop <coughs> Okay, so this is a <laughs> let's make this like this a flop. It's still giving vibes. Okay, so I'm gonna now map a map go in its state, um, and then one.
I can actually put this button press. I actually have to put it here. One a button press over um, flops. And so this is the number of button presses required for each flop to be on. And I think I take... the greatest common multiple here. <laughs> I think that was from day three or something. Get grab, Jizia. Uh, which day was it? Not day two, day three, day two maybe? Nope. Was it day four? Maybe it was day five. Almanac, transform all. Seeds. Nope. Day six. <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is a git grab folder. Um, git grab. Fold R1 LCM. Okay, what's day 8? Yeah, okay. So let me see here. Um, Bold R1 LCM. Day oh, <clears throat> twenty. So it's saying after 2048 mm, presses. Maybe I need to take the product. Too high, okay. <clears throat> it's not the product.
<clears throat> Maybe I did too many concats. Let's see. Um Maybe I shouldn't do flops here. Okay. Um, This is the first level. Okay, and now we're gonna map. Do egg egg. Maybe I'm missing the. Map, map, to egg, egg. <coughs> okay. Map, 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 M-I-D. map to go you need state one button press now let's um map 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 go one Every 2048 cycles, this one will be active. And every 2048 cycles, 
This one will be active. Flops. Let me see. BF flops. And uh, we remove one level here. And we remove one level here, I think. So BF flops. So this is right before the flops. Let me see. <laughs> so that is map, 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 go, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flops. Took two number presses before they were all pressed. Let's see. BFF flops. Ah, <clears throat> uh, but that one needs to be high. It's not enough to... Uh, uh, yeah. Go one... Uh, HL... Level is equal to HL, and then we just need to add HL here and HL here and HL should be here also. Mm -hmm. Map go go one here is to be false. Oh okay, I need it so HL and flop. Oh HL flop HL flop. Map map go one true Button press HL. Okay, yeah, I need to swap it here also. So here we want a low activation. Here we want a true.
Okay. So flip flops. If so, the flips. If it was soft, turns on and sends a high pulse. Okay. If it was off, it turns on and sends a high pulse. If it was on, it turns off and sends a low pulse. So for flops, we want them to receive a low pulse okay so if it's BF flops we're waiting for them to send a high pulse to all of their um, so in one round they all send quite buying this you see BFF Ah, because here it is an okay. So, how long does it take for it to send? A high flop. That is the question. Okay, this is how long it takes for it to send a high flop. So before the flops. How long does it take for it to send a low, a low flop? Because then all of them have to be active. Okay, that is surprising. Let me see. Is it just some here? Nice, it's just the sum. Okay. And I think it's just some here also. Concat map. A 
on cat map some concat map Let me see here. Concat map. Okay, it doesn't want that. I think this might be the answer. Seems so low though. Which... Yeah, it's too low. <clears throat> okay, um and let's abandon this. Do we have the sum here again? So that's the answer to that one. Maybe for these ones, it's actually the product. So I want all of these to send a high signal so that FF flops. Map. Go on false. BFF. I think it's probably then the product of those.
<laughs> All right. We got day 20 part two. Whoop, whoop. Took some guesswork, but... Um, Let me see. Okay, so this is a uh, sum. And then this was a product. Is actually a product of all of these. So the idea is, okay, so this is the number of, so for the flops, you have to check um, because they flip on and off, right? So then, um, every 3,851 cycles, they all, they're all flipped, flip on at once, right? And now they all have to do this at the same time. So then it is the product of these numbers. Good. Status git add. Because git commit m. Day 20 finished. Okay, status. Am I forgetting something? Example m. Get add dot dot day seventeen. Example um get commit add forgotten example. Did he do git push? Okay, uh, so we did. Day 20, part 1. We did day 20, part 2. <clears throat> Takes a while. We have now 40 stars on the effort of code. Uh, but sadly, this is the last episode for now. Because tomorrow I am traveling. And I have to pack. I have to get ready. Then at Christmas is happening. Um, what I might do though is I might, a, I might solve the things if I have time, it's unlikely, and then go over the solutions or otherwise, you know, if I'm up for it, do something in January. But anyway, it's been super nice to, uh, it's been fun to do the Edward of Code. It's been nice to have some company for the Edward of Code. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in this year. And I uh, hope to see you all in the comment section. Uh, tell me what you think about the solutions. And uh, yeah, hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, thank you and bye-bye.